flying passengers in Pakistan heading to the U.S. met increased security screening Monday. Pakistan's National Airlines said it was intensifying checks for U.S.-bound passengers, even though there are no direct flights. Screening was also stepped up for those flying to the U.S. from other parts of Asia and the Middle East. The U.S. requested the beefed-up procedures after a Nigerian man allegedly tried to ignite explosives on a flight to Detroit. In Islamabad, the special screening includes full body searches in a designated area of the departure lounge. A spokesman says the airline had run ads to warn people about the increased safety measures, but that wasn't enough to pacify everyone. Whenever our high dignitaries travel, like ambassadors, they have to put their arms up and get body searched there. This bloody dog doesn't understand that when our people travel abroad, they get treated like this. And whenever the white people come here, they are given red carpet treatment. Passenger Malik Mohammed Asram vented his rage at his country's own president over the increased security measures. But even in Europe, things are tightening up. Before the new year, Dutch authorities announced Schiphol Airport would start using full body scanners to screen U.S. bound passengers. That's where Nigerian Umar Farouk Abdul Mutala boarded his flight to Detroit. And Britain, too, said it would invest in the new high-tech equipment aimed at spotting liquids or plastic weapons that metal detectors would miss. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.